What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we have another very cool air rifle for you guys. This is the AEA Element Max and it has got to be the coolest looking air rifle I've ever seen in my life. So before we get started, once again I want to thank the pelletshop.com for sending this out. As always, I appreciate their support. So the Element Max is available in four different calibers. The 45 cal, the 50 cal, the 51 cal, and the 58 cal. And of course, we had to get the biggest and most powerful one they had. So this is the 58 caliber version. The muzzle velocity on this is about 800 feet per second and the foot-pounds of energy is around 600. If you compare that to the Terminator, which we also did a video on called the world's most powerful semi-auto air rifle, it gets about 150 foot-pounds of energy on target, which means this is four times more powerful than the Terminator air rifle which is absolutely crazy. Now they've also got two different versions of these air rifles. They have the dual tank fixed stock version, which is the one we've got, it's the one I wanted, but they also have a single tank folding stock version, which makes this already lightweight big bore air rifle even more compact and lightweight. And compared to all the other air rifles I've got, this is by far the lightest. So we'll see how that translates to recoil. And really quick, I'll go ahead and show you one of the projectiles we got. This is a 398 grain 58 caliber hollow point and you can see just how big and impressive that thing is so let's load it up and shoot this thing and see what it can actually do just a friendly reminder i'm sure most of you are well aware of this but air rifles by law are not considered firearms which means they do not require a background check so if you can't own firearms or you just don't want a paper trail attached for whatever reason air rifles are a great option. So the way this thing works is pretty simple. It's kind of like a reverse bolt action. You flip this lever up, slide it forward instead of backwards like you would on most firearms, put your projectile in there, pull it back, flip it down, and then take the safety off and cock the hammer. Very first shot, let's see how it feels. All I did was bore sight it, so hopefully we can hit the target. I'm gonna go for that yellow gong <laughs> that is sweet. All right, well, if you saw the Zeus videos, you know that that one kicks about like a 12 gauge shotgun. This is obviously not that bad, but it definitely has some recoil. I would compare it to probably a 308 bolt action rifle. So very powerful, but it is so much more pleasant to shoot. And as you saw, it absolutely smoked that target. By the way, this is the air pump I've been using for all these air rifle videos. It is a GX pump, I believe. I got it on Amazon for like 200 bucks and it runs off your car battery so you can use it just about anywhere. It's got these little 12 volt jumper cables. It's pretty easy to use. Obviously red on red, black on black, crime. Start the engine, open the bleed valve a little bit and then turn it on. It actually has two options. You can use a wall outlet or a car battery. Obviously we're using the car, so we'll flip it to the left. Insert this. Close the bleed valve. And hit start. And we're back in the red, which is what I like to see. It takes a few minutes to fill the rifle. It's not the most advanced pump in the world, but I used to have to drive like 30 minutes to the paintball place just to get a refill. And a lot of these air rifles only get a couple shots off of a full tank. So it has been convenient, not an ad by the way. All right, this next experiment is gonna be an interesting one. And this is something I have never shot before, peanut butter. So I was walking by this stuff in the store the other day and I thought, man, peanut butter is super thick and it might actually be good at stopping bullets. Now, I'm sure it's been done. Demolition Ranch probably has a 50 calibers peanut butter video or something like that, but I've never shot it and I've never seen it done before. So we have 10 40 ounce tubs of peanut butter lined up on the table and I wanna see if this is enough to stop the big bore air rifle. It would also be sweet if we could capture the bullet and see if it expanded in the peanut butter. Usually in tests like this, the bullets don't stay straight, which is kind of what ruins it, but we'll give it a shot. That made a much bigger mess than I expected. I thought it would just kind of punch through and the peanut butter would stay intact. I was wrong.
And I went ahead and put my prostate exam gloves on because this is obviously gonna be a messy one. I'm not sure which container was hit first. We'll go ahead and start with the ones on the ground. Ugh. You can see the bullet hole right there in the middle. Pretty much dead center, so it was a good hit. We've got another one over here, and this one is basically exploded. Also has a bullet hole right down the middle. Number three. Looks like the bullet is going pretty straight, which is a good thing. Four, passed completely through. Number five also has an exit hole. And number six looks like the one that it stopped in. I think I got it. And I scooped some of that peanut butter out of the hollow point cavity, so hopefully you can see a little better. It did slightly deform and opened up a little bit, but definitely did not expand. And let me know what you think in the comments. I would say six peanut butter jars stopping this bullet is pretty impressive because as we've seen, it's going pretty fast and it gets quite a bit of penetration. So not bad for the peanut butter test. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can clean some of that peanut butter off the table and do some science in the process. Water jug penetration test, I've got seven of them on the table. I think we'll probably only need four. That's my prediction. Ah, I thought I was far enough away. Okay, number one is just completely obliterated. You can see it exploded that water jug. Number two, we've got an entrance hole right there and pretty big exit hole on the back. And number three, looks like it went in right there, came out towards the top, so it was curving upwards slightly, and it did not go into number four. I doubt the remaining four will be enough to stop it, but we'll go ahead and try it again. Try to put this in a little bit lower. I don't know if you guys can hear it on camera, in person you definitely can, but the impact of that bullet on those water jugs is actually louder than the gunshot itself. It sounds awesome. And we lost water jug number one, I assume it's one of these on the ground, but on number two you can see the entrance hole is dead center. I put that one a couple inches lower than the first one, and on the back, <laughs> it almost just hole punched it coming out the other side. That's like a perfect circle. Don't see that very often. Number three, you can see our entrance hole right there. And it looks like it might have tried to come out, but I don't see an entrance hole on number four, so maybe our bullet's in there. I think I hear it. There it is. And that thing completely expanded. That is awesome. I mean, that has to be an 80 caliber bullet at this point. It like doubled in size at least and it looks like a little top hat. That's pretty sweet. I'm glad we actually got one to expand and we're able to look at it. Man, I don't know if I've ever seen a bullet bigger than that after it's fully expanded. And when I was looking at the holes in the water jugs, I just kind of assumed it probably did not expand because they didn't look that big. But now that we've recovered the bullet, it absolutely did, and that thing is humongous. All right, guys, before we get out of here, I wanna go ahead and do a ballistic shell test with this 58 caliber air rifle. This is a 10% FBI block from clearballistics.com. It is 16 inches long and six inches wide. And of course, thank you Clear Ballistics for providing us with the ballistics gel. So a lot of people actually use air rifles just like this to hunt pretty large animals. And I wanna see what kind of expansion and penetration we get out of a 58 caliber air rifle. Let's do it. And of course, the bullet we're using is the 398 grain 58 caliber hollow point, since it is the only projectile we have. All right. Let's see what it does.
Now, keep in mind, this is not a firearm, so the results are not gonna be anywhere near as impressive as a gun that's going two to three times as fast, obviously. But it's not bad, and it definitely got more penetration than I was expecting. So it went in right there, pretty much dead center, on the ballistic shell block, and you can see that giant hole that that hollow point carved out on its way in. You don't see that very often, and from the top, you can get a pretty good look at that wound cavity. Not bad for an air rifle. I gotta say, over here it's a little bit more clear. It looks like probably for the first six to seven inches is where it dumped most of its energy and then from then on, it just continued penetrating and went all the way through 16 inches of ballistics gel. Well, I was actually concerned that it wouldn't penetrate enough because it is an air rifle and it's not going super fast, obviously. But sometimes with hollow points, lower velocity will actually give you more penetration, assuming the bullet is powerful enough to get through the ballistics gel, which this one definitely is. So for hunting, self-defense, stuff like that, it's not gonna expand and break apart like a rifle round would, but it definitely gets enough penetration. This kind of tells us a little bit more of the story. So it definitely expanded somewhat and probably increased the bullet diameter by 30%, but it did not completely expand and stop in the ballistics gel. And when it comes to hunting or self-defense, I don't know about you guys, but if I had to choose between too much penetration or not enough penetration, I would choose too much every time. And again, this is just ballistic gel. There's no bones, rib cage, stuff you would find on an animal you're hunting, for instance. So it might perform differently in a target like that. All right, guys, that is the 58 caliber Element Max Big Bore Air Rifle. Again, I wanna thank thepelletshop.com for sending this out, of course, I really appreciate it. And this has to be by far my favorite air rifle that I've ever tried so far. Yes, it is a single shot. It would be cooler if it was semi-auto, but the size, the weight, the power, the capability, just everything about this, I absolutely love. And it looks cool which is probably what's most important. I'll be honest, some of the other air rifles I've tried are bigger and heavier and more awkward to fire, whereas this one is just incredibly compact and lightweight and comfortable to shoot, which goes a long way. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, I'd be glad to hear from you. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.